So here it is told that two cards are drawn successively with replacement from a well-shuffled pack of 52 playing cards. Find the probability distribution of the number of kings and hence find the mean of the distribution. So here, here you can see that each trial is a Bernoulli trial. Each trial is a Bernoulli trial where success can be defined as where success can be defined as getting a king getting a king and since there is since the card is drawn with replacement therefore the probability of success will be the same in every trial this is same in every trial therefore this kind of trials will be called as a Bernoulli trial. Hence, the Bernoulli trial should follow as the um, Bernoulli trial should follow the um, binomial distribution. Follow the binomial distribution. So here the probability of success will be equal to the probability of getting a king. Probability of getting a king in a throw. Uh, getting a king. So there are four kings. So that would be 4 by 52. So 1 by 13. So therefore, the probability of success, I can call it as P. So that is 1 by 13. And therefore, the probability of failure, that is not getting a king, that is equal to Q. I can write it as 1 minus the probability of success. So that would be 1 minus 1 by 13. That is 12 by 13. So now here it is asked, find the probability distribution of the number of kings. So here the random variable, the random variable is the number of kings, number of kings in two trials. Since here two cards are being drawn. So therefore, um, the values of x can be 0, 1 or 2. Since why I can get no kings, I can get one king or I can get two kings in these two trials. And here also the num n is equal to 2 means the total number of Bernoulli trials is 2. So therefore, the probability of x equal to 0, it means for not getting a king in the two trials. So that would be 2c0, p power 0 into q power 2. So that would be 1 into q power q is 12 by 13 so that whole square of that so that would be 144 divided by 169 and then the probability of x equal to 1 means the probability of getting one king so that would be 2c1 e power 1 into q power 1 so that would be 2c1 is 2 into this would be 1 by 13 into 12 by 13 so that would be 24 by 169 and then the probability of x equal to 2 it means the probability of getting both kings probability of getting two kings so that would be 2 c2 p power 2 into q power 0 so that would be 2 c2 is 1 1 into p is 1 by 13 whole square so that is 1 by 169 so therefore the required probability distribution, the required probability distribution of the number of kings, of the number of kings, that would be like this. X can have the values 0, 1, and 2, and the corresponding probabilities of X, that would be P of 0 is 144 by 169. And this would be 24 by 169. And this would be 1 by 169. So this is the required probability distribution. 
and then it is asked to find the mean of the distribution therefore the mean of the distribution it is written it is called as mu or it is also written as expect the expectation value of x so that is given as summation i goes from 1 to n pi xi so here n is equal to 2 so this would be p1 x1 plus p2 x2 so p1 is here actually there are three values of x actually there are sorry sorry so there are three values of x so that would be uh, plus p3 x3 so that would be uh, 0 into 144 by 169 plus 1 into 24 by 169 plus 2 into 1 by 169. So this would be uh, 169 is the LCM divided by this is 0 plus 24 plus 2. So this would be 26 by 169. So this would be 13 to the 26, 13, 13, the 169. So therefore, the mean value is mean of the variable x that would be 2 by 13. So this is your final answer. Thank you.